With calls coming from the Vice Chancellor of the University of Ghana, Professor Lawrence Carrington, for the administration to increase the university's annual subvention by $250 million, the government has decided that it will not let into those calls until UG deals with the many quality assurance issues it presently have. These remarks were made by Minister of Education Sheikh Bash on Thursday while responding to concerns raised by Carrington in a recent report. The Vice Chancellor had pointed out that the institution is currently in a dire financial situation, which has been reflected by an annual deficit of $150 million over the last three years, a situation he believes is as a result of the lack of financial support from the administration. But as far as the minister is concerned, once UG reviews its programs, it will be able to cut that cost. Programs which may not be relevant to the national needs, and therefore we were expecting some um, program reviews to be taking place at the University of Ghana. So the government has been waiting for that. The Education Minister further pointed to the university's strategic plan for the period 2009 to 2012, saying that Carrington and his team failed to address the concerns and recommendations made by the administration on sections of that plan. The minister said to date he's still waiting on the amended version of the plan. And to that extent, we also have concerns when we speak about quality assurance about the quality of some of the graduates, not all, some of, some of, the, some of the programs at the university. And this was expressed by the private sector. So having regard to all of these things, we want to see an improvement in the efficiency of the university. So when we speak about funding not being made available, and I've shown where the government has been increasing its funding of the university, at the same time, certain things will have to be done by the university. Carrington, a Trinidadian national who assumed the office of vice chancellor more than two years ago, said he believes a whole lot more needs to be done to bring UG on par with other universities in the region and at a global level, a concern he said he raised with the administration a while ago. Reporting for Capital News, Nadine Luters.